got a new fish, a red. So just picked up a sweet new pyramid butterfly. Now this is one fish that I've wanted for ages and a local reaver was shutting down her tank and had one for sale so I couldn't help myself how to pick her up. Um, ideally I would have waited until I got to the new tank but we'll have to put her in the current one for now. So I was super stoked so let's get this fish home, get it acclimated and get it in the tank. What is going on guys? Devin with Reef Deeds. So I'm finally home and I'm really excited to have this fish. I've wanted a pyramid butterfly for ages. I don't know why, but I think they're really cool looking fish. Um, now some butterfly fish can be a little questionable with corals. I've been assured many times that this one has not been a nipper by any stretch, so we should be safe. So we're gonna start acclimating it and then get it into the tank. Take a look, beautiful fish. Love these guys for ages. Just gonna quickly check the salinity, see how close it is. And compared to my tank, it's a little bit lower. So of course we wanna ease it into acclimation. Now I did get a bit of new fresh, like freshly mixed salt water that I'm gonna dump into my tank, just to kind of make up for what we're gonna take out of it. Then I'm gonna scoop some water from the tank and we're gonna slowly add it to the bucket. Now when acclimating the fish, you can do a bit of a drip system where water slowly drips in. Um, I have done that. I've also the same thing where I'll just dump in, you know, a little bit of water, wait five, 10 minutes, do it again, wait five, 10 minutes, do it again. Um, if it's winter time, it's too cold. I mean, you wanna make sure the water is heated. Now this water feels pretty close to tank temp. So I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, it's very warm in the room, so it's not a huge issue. Now, ideally I'd like to, you know, every five or 10 minutes, add some more water and do this until I replace most of the water in the bucket your bucket gets too full. That's why I have an extra one so I can dump a little bit out. Now another thing I like to do too is feed the tank before I add the fish in just so they're not all hungry or nippity because fish are usually more docile once they're fed. So let's give them some nori, maybe a little mysis and feed the tank. Definitely a bit of a feeding frenzy in there, but at least once the fish have all had a snack, they'll be a lot more docile, and hopefully that will also mean more welcoming to the new fish. Hey little buddy. A little harder to tell on video, but the black on his head's a little paler. It's starting to darken up a bit. Usually if they're stressed out or they're sleeping, then it'll go a bit whiter, but obviously stressed in this case is from being transported from, you know, a good hour in the car. Fill some up, drain some out, fill some up, drain some out. Uh, eventually most of the water is replaced and they'll be kind of level with the tank. At that point we should be safe to do it. Um, now another kind of side thing is I usually avoid using nets with fish. Sometimes like, their fins can get caught so I like to use something like a strainer. This is this one I picked up from the dollar store. You can kind of scoop it up nicely, still get the water out and then move the fish without worrying about any fins getting caught. Now, as long as leave the LPS alone, we'll get along just fine. It's mainly just worried about the acans or the micromisa. Those are the one things I know butterflies tend to pick at, so fingers crossed. Um, I also did pick up two yellow tanks, so I'm getting my baby or my buddy to babysit them for now. So I think they're just going to hang out in his little frag section and sump for the next couple weeks and it's already a pair of yellows that are getting along. They're happy, so as long as they do well in his sump, I'm gonna put them in the new water box tank, and then I think I'll put this guy in the office tank. I do like having one yellow tank in there, at least, because they're a good workhorse. Thought about having all three in one tank, I mean, it would look awesome, but there also might be some scrappy and aggression there, whereas, you know, the two that have already been together for years, I know are pretty safe. And then I have this guy who can stick with me in the office tank, so I think that will work out pretty good. Let's put you into the tank, beautiful girl. Let all the water drip out and into the tank. Beautiful. Now hopefully the powder blue doesn't try and be the boss. That was my own one little bit of worry. Should hopefully work their things out pretty quick. And so far they're keeping his distance, checking it out. So the yellow and the blue were being a bit of punks, so 
decided to go with the mirror trick. I found a mirror and just kind of magneted it to the side of the tank using my flipper for now. And this will distract the tangs for a little bit because the yellow and the powder blue are going to be more aggressive against their own than they are somebody else. So if they're distracted with the glass for a little bit, see, they, they can try and fight the reflection and it'll give this guy some time to settle in. So if you guys don't know about that one, I did do a video on it a while back, but basically I just called it the mirror trick and you put a mirror on the side of your tank and whatever dominant or aggressive tang you have, he's gonna fight his own reflection. He's gonna be more against their own than he will against someone else. So as you can see, you know, he's not going after him quite as much and he's going after his own reflection. So that will tire him out and give your new fish a little more time to settle in. I just fed the tank and he's already eating. Seems like he's settling in nicely. The tank's already being less aggressive. I will leave the mirror up for the night just to make sure that he kind of has time to settle in. But aside from that, yeah, things are looking pretty good. So as always guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next update.